on board on our way to the start pretty rapidly. Uh, we're just in Fall Bay at the moment and it's a chance for me to have a final look at the weather. As you can see, it's pretty wet outside already. Um, so we know there's a front coming in pretty much at the start and it's going to be very windy for the first 12 hours of the race. I think we will see gusts in the mid 40s in the middle of the channel. Um, so let's have a quick look at what the routing looks like. We are looking at uh, the south coast of the UK there and uh, the Solent's just here, so where that, that yellow pin is, that's the start and that's Land's End um, and this is start time. So you can see all of this orange wind here, this is the big front that's coming across. Um, and if we roll through one hour at a time, you can see that colour deepens, so that's the wind getting stronger. Um, and it's pretty much upwind, so our routing is telling us to go offshore and then make one long tack in, which is better for us because less manoeuvres. And the worst of it is probably going to be over us by, well, if we make good ground to the west, the worst of it will be over by 10 or 11, but back here for the smaller boats, it's going to be very, very windy about 11 o'clock at night. Then we can see it's still upwind to the land's end, which is there, but as the wind goes yellow and then green, that's getting lighter. And then as we come out past the Scilly Isles and up towards um, the Fastnet Rock, we've got a couple of options there. So one further to the south, one to the north, and we're going through a patch of lighter wind. So there's the center of this system here, and then the back end of this system there. And hopefully when we get to the rock, we will then hook into this new breeze. And it looks like we might be able to ride it home, which would make it quite quick. So maybe we're gonna finish on, um, Monday evening. Um, I'm still a little unclear about what the, the last 24 hours of the race are going to look like um, but what we do know is the first 12 hours are going to be really tough so we're just making sure the boat is super secure um, and we're ready to go out and spend time in that much wind. 